What is up guys, this is your boy Creepers, once again with another video on editing sound and video. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to have that perfect sound from your microphone using the Elgato, okay? How to fix that sound. It may look like a big monstrous bug with seven heads, it's like a very complicated thing, but it's so easy that after you do it two, three times, you'll do it so easy, so fast that you won't even notice you have to do it. And I'll see you guys in just a second. So, as I was saying, I'm gonna teach you guys how to have that perfect sound when you are recording with the Elgato. And the problem is, there's this little, little sound in the between the part where I talk, you know, when I'm quiet, you can hear a sound like this. And this is really annoying. Now, how can you fix this really easy, okay? It's with Audacity. For those who already know Audacity but think that it's too complicated to use, don't worry, it's really easy to use and I'm gonna show you right now. I have to edit uh, the sound of another video that I just recorded and I'm gonna show you. We're gonna open Audacity. And we're gonna put Audacity here. And the file is this one right here. We're gonna grab this file here. We're gonna put it here. For those who don't know how to put M4A files in here, which are the sound from your microphone files that come out of Elgato, just uh, go into the description. I'm gonna leave a link because I just did a video on how to put the files inside of Audacity, okay? Now we're gonna go here. We're gonna put press. We're gonna press Control and then we're gonna scroll down. And if you get here, you can see this little part right here. There's no sound here, but it has all of this, you know, all of this disturbance. And we want to clear this out from the entire file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a little part where there's no sound of me talking. This is what we're gonna use as an example. So you just select this part where there's no sound whatsoever. You go into effects, you go into noise reduction and obtain noise per file. And then you're gonna select the entire file like I just did. You're gonna go back in there, noise reduction, and now you press okay. Don't mess with this, just press okay. And now you just let it pa pass the time. Okay, it's finished. And as you can see, it's now lower, you know, it's not as big as it was before, but we're still going to do this a second time. But we need to select this part as well, the part where there's no talking, just a normal, you know, background noise. You just go into noise reduction and you do again, obtain, and you do again, select the, the entire file, and you're gonna press noise reduction again and okay, and you let it, you let it, you let it do your th his, and then you just let it do your thing, okay? Boom, there we go. As you can see here, now it's a flat line, which means we don't have any background noise whatsoever in the entire file. You can go right here, see, nothing here. There's some places that it's going to miss, but you can actually cut these places after. And this one right here, this is probably me you know, me saying something like really, really low, like my voice really, really low, you know, and that's probably why it stayed like that. Okay, so that's done. The file is now completely edited from beginning to the end. Depending on the type of the file, it's gonna take longer or less time to actually convert. After this, you only need to do one thing. You go into File, you go into Export Audio, and then you're gonna select mp3 file so yeah here's the file test I'm not gonna be playing it because I don't I don't even know what the file is but I just I needed to just to show you guys it was on m4a we converted it took all the sound on the background you know just clean it the file and then we converted it into mp3 this way you can use this file wherever you want you can use it on Sony Vegas okay now you can actually grab the file and boom there it is it's done so really easy to do, guys. As I was saying, if you cannot export the audio into MP3, 
you're gonna need to install a plugin and I'm gonna leave also a link in the description as soon as I do make that video on how to export mp3 files on audacity okay so that was all for the video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope i did help you guys if i did do press that like button also do comment down below if it didn't so i can try to help you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video and until then peace